If you like Fox bodies and you like coupes, and even more, you like them when they have over a thousand horsepower. How about 1300? That is exactly what we are getting into today. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and guys today we're actually here at Chocolate Fox Awesome All Fox Body Show. But one of the cars here I wanted to do a review on is something I've been trying to track down for a while and you saw it there in the little teaser but yeah we've got an 88 coupe 1300 horsepower best in show fox Overfest 2019 but before we get into that i'm going to give you a quick cinematic But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna bring the owner in here. Walt, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Yeah, I'm now, I'm glad you're here. And what's funny about this is, guys, we've been trying to do this for a little while here now, Walt, right? Yeah. This is the third show. It is. And your car has been so popular. Well, that's what we're gonna blame it on. It's not because I didn't take the time. We're gonna say your car's been so popular, I haven't had time to get close to it. That, we'll go with that, okay? <laughs> Got it. How long have you owned this 88 here, Walt? Over a decade. When you picked it up, it looked nothing like this, of course, but what was it? Was it originally a 5.0 car? It was. It, okay. it, it was originally a 5.0 car uh, that was completely disassembled down to the, the bare sheet metal. And okay. A cage was put in, and it was going to be a purpose built race car, not a street car. Project kind of stalled. I was aware that it existed and I was going to do some major renovations to another Fox body. But then I saw this one and it already had all the cage work, everything done. I ended up uh, buying it, went to town and making it what I wanted it. Kind of like a great starting point, right? It's yeah. basically a roller, but it just had the cage. Yeah. Okay, so it didn't have any drivetrain or anything at the time. It didn't have glass. It didn't have a dad It had nothing. It was wow. a shell, the unibody shell, not even the fenders. Wow. Everything that could unbolt was unbolted. It was literally the unibody with a full racing. I don't even think, we can't even say that's a roller. That's not even a roller. It's no, something but, below a roller. That would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been nice. I'm feeling like uh, my, yeah. I've got Nemesis. Nemesis is finally a roller, my coupe. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and I'm like, oh, it's only a roller, but you're in reverse shape. Well, Nemesis, I've been building actually for about almost three years now. But this one, I think you said what? It took about seven years to build? Yeah, different engines in it. There was a 331 push rod with a Turbinetics T76 turbo. And then this is the second that was built illuminator, Kenny Bell blown. All right, so he's he's already letting the cat out of the bag. Let's go ahead and do this. Is this a carbon fiber hood, by the way? It is. One of one. I came up with the idea. In order to put a hood on it, it would have had to been, you know, a, a four plus cal hood. Right. And then that would bring, you know, the cal up. Way up here. here. And Not great for driving, right? I wanted to be able to see out the windshield. Yeah. And actually, let me interrupt you real quick there. He did drive it here today. Now, what'd you drive? Almost like two hours, right? Yeah, about two hours. Yeah, which I think it's the first time you've done it in this, but it's a 1300 horsepower car and you're yeah. driving it on the highway. Yeah. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> no problem Guys, at all. I always think like I drove mine, my Tar Heel Fox right there. I drove it eight hours and I'm like, Ah, oh, yeah, I did pretty good, but I don't have 1300 horsepower. So, <laughs> well, you did good on that one. What do you think, Lance? Fox Body FX. He drove this two hours 1300 what do you think about this car i think it's amazing looking but like to drive that the way he did two hours that's props that, right props. <laughs> it takes some uh it takes some it takes some cojones or <laughs> a well-built nice. car it takes a well-built car this is my favorite part and i saw this okay. i saw this it on ken's great. channel blue oval media because yeah. uh you've been on there you've been on any other youtuber channels caleb's caleb's a uh, foxcast media yep yes yes um, okay when, when the I the biggest channel that's right i saw that fox Everfest 2019 yep. and he came over and did a, a little 
video on it. Okay, that's, well, that was Caleb, one of the cars. how can I forget him? He's the biggest Fox Body <laughs> channel at all. So Caleb, if you're watching, I'm sorry. But <laughs> let's show them right here, this hood. Like, uh, how does it pull up, Walt? So they have the, uh, you know, the Kirk release okay. buttons here. Yeah. Um, so you have the, the two in the middle and then those two. These two aren't functional. They're they're really just kind of round out the look of Right, to so get the look yeah, straight. So the, one of the design aspects when I built the car is with the Coyote motor, when you have a supercharger, you usually have that 180 degree turn with a big uh, inlet air tube that covers the valve cover. Yeah. You know, so it's either on the left or, or right side. You can see even on the older, you know, you can see you have that too. Big block with the 671 door and the dual yeah. carbs. And so I wanted it to have more of that look. Okay. But, you know, but cold start and idle and run and not. And be able to drive it two all. hours. Yes. And be able to drive across. <laughs> Imagine country. that. Came up with the idea of having the air box at the back of the supercharger. So that necessitated the elimination of all of the windshield wipers. So you can see, you know, oh, yeah, there's, no wipers. It, there's okay. none there, none of the mechanical. And we made well, that looks the air great. box. In order to make the air box, then I designed the hood to close Look at on that. it and then fade back so it's at the base of the windshield. Okay, so this is yeah. the air box right yeah, here. So that's a K&N filter. So the air comes, you know, right through the, the massive throttle bodies here, right into the, the back of the blower. So instead of having that big, you know, inlet tube yep. here or there, it exposes this and you can see the, that's much cleaner. the beauty of the Coyote. Yeah. What Gen Coyote is it? It is an Illuminator. An Illuminator is a, is a Ford racing product where they, they ship the, the motor to a third party and they put ARP fasteners throughout Molly Forge pistons. They upgrade the rods. Everything is fortified and it's actually sold either as a normally aspirated race engine or with lower compression ratio for blower applications. I'm guessing you went with the lower compression. Yeah, yep. so we did that, but competition cams did a custom set of stage two blower cams. We told them what type of supercharger, what kind of boost we were running. So they spec'd out the cams for that. Uh, we called Ford and told them what kind of power we're making and they're like, the valves aren't gonna hold up to that. So we had to replace all the valves with mainly valves you had to um, replace the eliminator valves just because yes, of the boost okay. because of the power level they said that that would be kind of the weak point we fortified everything we made the cooling system there's a separate coolant tank in the trunk that, that feeds the coolant separately from the supercharger so it has a whole standalone system it has smart coils so we can tune each individual cylinder it has holly on there oh yeah uh, check that ECU. out the coils are mounted back here on yep. both sides that's cool i haven't seen that before how much pounds of boost are you running actually on this uh, 17 pounds of boost, 1,300 at the crank, on um, E85, 1,079 at the rear tires. And what's the management system on this? You know, is it ECU-wise? Is it a Holley system? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a Holley. It's yeah. a Holley Dominator ECU. That yeah, makes sense. It's mounted in the, in the glove box, and then it's connected to the uh, the Holley dash. Every sensor that's on the motor is displayed on the dashboard. You had some custom fab work in this, right? Because oh, yeah, this well. is normally a gal, so how, did you do that uh, that work yourself? No, Maryland, Maryland Performance. Okay. Give them credit. Maryland Performance did all the fabrication. Out. So one of the fun things about putting a Coyote motor in a Fox body is all the things that they don't tell you. Like, if you want an alternator, you yeah. can't have a front sway bar. And Who needs those call, anyway, right? <laughs> they call Maxim Motorsport. like, oh, everyone that does a Coyote scop doesn't run a front sway bar. They're drag racing. They don't need a front sway bar. So Maryland <laughs> Performance is, um, you know, fabricated this custom sway bar. So. You know, it's located in a completely different location than a, a standard Fox, and then it has aluminum arms that connect it to the front A arms. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that you can't see. For example, like the the line lock and and even the the fuel lines. We hid all of the plumbing for the line lock. You got the Willwood brakes too, I see. Yeah, six piston front, four back, and then you know I wanted I wanted power brakes and power steering. So you know we had you know all of all this work. Mm -hmm. Done to yeah, so much custom that. work. Yeah. Maryland Performance did a beautiful job on the bracketry for the for the throttle. Yeah, it looks great. Did Maryland Performance do the the bulk of the custom work? They did all of the fabrication, all of the mechanical, the interior, the audio system, all the beautiful work inside. That was done by Absolute Electronics. So uh, I put their emblem engraved in the back there. Uh, on the left side so focal supplied a anniversary audio system the 40th okay. anniversary which was kind of cool because 2019 was the 40th anniversary of the fox yeah. yeah yeah so they were excited about me showcasing their 40th anniversary focal system yeah 
And there's, of course, the Holly Dash. And here, we got a tablet in the middle. I remember... It was a tablet okay. in 2019. It was an iPad. The okay. problem with an iPad, even though it's Apple, is it, it doesn't have Apple CarPlay. It doesn't have all the neat stuff that we have on our you know, modern touchscreen audio equipment. So, right. so we moved the tablet from below and put the window... Uh, switches there and then that is a Sony AV8000 audio system and my wife has a Tesla so I kind of got the design element from from her car and also you know most modern cars have like the you know the touch screen in the middle yeah yeah so it's I definitely gone that gone that way up there so you know I can have my Apple CarPlay I can have the backup camera I can have did you use you know, some of that today on the way here, the Apple CarPlay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, imagine no, so. I, I played music the whole way here. <laughs> no AC is the only kind of drawback, right? That that was the sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, no air. Because it was meant to know. be a drag car, I believe, right? It was, yeah. And uh, even though we could have plumbed all that, it just, I, I, I yeah. just didn't want to do that. You yeah. know, with all the, the cage work and stuff, yeah. you can see it's all all hidden up in here. Now, was this still the cage that was in it or yeah, no? that was it. Okay, so this is from your wing. You originally had it, same cage. Yeah, and the reason it's, you know, so tight and tucked up here is because all the glass in the car was removed. Besides Maryland Performance and who did the audio, who else did uh, any of the work on this car? Uh, I was involved in a, in a lot of the design and, and I worked a lot of late nights with uh, Ada at Absolute Electronics making a lot of the interior stuff. You know, this, this was my, you know, concept. Of course, I didn't fabricate it, but... Uh, that's all you know, right. The that and the forward opening hood, you know, I got that from, you know, the uh, the older Corvettes and the E30. Uh, yeah, that's what it kind of reminded me of, yeah, it was yeah. a Corvette. Oh, so have you had it at the Strip yet? Have you dri driven down the track uh, yet? I have, I have not taken to the drag strip. Okay. Are you thinking about it? What yeah, do you yeah, think? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll put some drag radials on okay. and, and a couple runs. And by the way, guys, you can follow him on Instagram, Cars and Cheese, right? Yep, yeah, you got it. And so... We put some up there, I'm guessing, when you go drag. Oh, yeah, 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 so that yeah. would be awesome. And you've had it all the shows, yeah. making changes. Now, what is it about Fox Bodies? Have you always been into them, or was this like a one-off thing? No, I mean, you know, uh, Fox Bodies are like potato chips. Yeah. You can't have just one, right? No, <laughs> no. Have I had three right now. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're potato chips. My very first car, so I, I saved up my lawn mowing money, and I went into the a Chevy dealer, and I bought a 79 Mustang. I wish I would have kept it because it had a hood scoop and it said turbo on it. But when you open the hood, it was a V8. So somebody at the factory put a four cylinder turbo hood wow. on a V8. That oh. had to be rare. <laughs> well, you know, I was 17 at the time. Yeah. So I, I have no idea. I was just happy to have a car and I was happy that it had a V8 and not a four cylinder turbo. Yeah. The 79 Mustang was, was the first and I've had many after that, I had a yellow 87 McLaren for a year or so while back. The ASC, I, right? ASC yeah, McLaren? Yeah, yep. Now I heard a rumor that you actually have a real McLaren too, as well. Is that right? You have yeah, like yeah. A... I, have a, I have a 720S. And okay. Actually, it's in your neighborhood. It's in North Carolina. Oh, really? Yeah, at Mega 3 Performance. It'll make about 1,500 horsepower. And I'm going down there to an airstrip to do some uh, testing. But yeah, it's got a full custom engine, custom turbo. I will, when I'm down in North Carolina to yeah. pick it up, I'll, I'll let you know. You should, because we'll actually, I don't know if you know this or not, but Tiffany and I went to Vegas last year and we rented uh, we rented a 570. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun. Not many people watched that video because it wasn't about Fox bodies, oh, but uh, we had fun. Yeah, yeah. You love all cars, really. I love cars, yeah. yeah. But the Fox, uh, you said it was your first car at 17? It's my first car. Okay. First car, 79. I had an 83, I had an 88, I had a 90, I had an 87, I had this uh, 88. And is this like is this your favorite? Out. I mean, well, I'm betting the 79 has some special memories. It was your first one, but yeah. for, aside from that, are you are you really happy with this one? That, this one's out. Um, now that it's done, I yeah. mean, there were many a nights where I was just like, I'm done. I'm selling it. Oh. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, I've got some new shirts for Nemesis, and I kind of <laughs> feel that way. Yeah. That's why I put the design on the shirt because now it's like I'm committing to having it built like that. So yeah. <laughs> it's on the back of the shirt. Now that it's done and I'm able to take it to shows, yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot. Of it fun. gets a lot of attention. People love it. They yeah. appreciate uh, you know, the craftsmanship, the the guys that that did all did the work and that I finished it. Yeah. Actually, I was able to drive it here, which was the farthest that, I've that, ever driven. That's what I was gonna say. He literally drove it here almost two hours today, guys. I love that. And we didn't show him one other thing. We, I showed them before it, it, on my channel, but I want to re-show it. Can we show them the trunk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because 
I did show this at Fox Toberfest, but it really wasn't about this car. I forgot to say the name. Demon Killer yeah, yeah. is Tr the name. Trish the Demon Killer. So Trish. Trish. Is, is, yeah, why Trish, by the way? So George and his son Justin Reggio, uh, they're the ones that built the car. You know, other than the interior work, which is amazing, that added it, they did everything else. George had the car in his shop for over five years. A lot of handcrafting, a lot of work. I mean, the hood itself was over six months to get all the bracketry and everything. I bet. His wife's name is Trish. And I think jokingly, I said, you spend more time with my car than your wife. So <laughs> I'm going to now name my car Trish so that you can say that you spend lots of time with Trish. There you go. Friend. So you're helping him out. You're yeah, like I'm a marriage counselor. Yeah, we got marriage yeah, counseling yeah, here, guys. Yeah, we're here at 704. Yeah, we named it Trish. And yeah. then Demon Killer came about when a good friend of mine, Mike Dietz, who has a beautiful car collection, he bought a Dodge Demon. And he, you know, when my car was in the shop, yeah. you know, because it was being built. He talks back, didn't oh, he? Oh yeah. What I did is I went online and I started typing in different iterations of the letters Demon Killer. Yeah. And See what would fit. Available. There you go. <laughs> no problem. I mean, a lot of the yeah. car people know that says Demon Killer. Yeah. But I can't. And a no. lot of people that say, what's Demoncler? No, like, you don't. Come really? On. Really? I, 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 every car person knows that. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Okay. So like, we can't be friends if you call it Demoncler. Mike Dietz, he never accepted the challenge to come out and, and see how his demon would do. Again. No, he never. I, I don't blame him. 1300 well, about. They weren't even close. He would have yeah. got destroyed. Yeah, well, I, before we show my favorite part, we got to get yeah. Tiffany to see this. Of course. Come on in here. <laughs> so she's also here helping me out. Chocolate Fox. She's keeping the car. Look. Tiff, we got to get one of these for Tar Heel Fox. My favorite part of the car. Look oh at this. Goodness. It looks like a window sticker, right? It Check does look it like window. it. Tell you my secret. Two nights before Foxtoberfest, I was getting ready to head down to North Carolina, and I was I had written down all the different modifications that I did to the car because there it happened over such a long yeah. period of time, and people would say, you know, what what is that part? What is that? And I was, I don't even remember what the train, I think it's a Tremec T56, but there's other part, I don't remember. So I called George and wrote it all down, and then I went online and I started looking, I just Googled Mustang window sticker. I downloaded it, and then I started editing it in uh, Adobe, that's, that's I started. Awesome. And he put this good. I, I love it. Even got Trish the demon color on there. That's what yeah. I was looking at it. I gave credit to the people that built it. And then I have uh, over here, you know, instead of saying Absolute Electronics, I have a AE, so you can see all the stuff that, that Absolute Electronics built, and then all the custom stuff that Maryland Performance built, I put MTC. There you go, credit so, to everybody. Then, then I, and I had fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you might need to update this number now. Uh, yes. The way the gas prices are going, you might need to update that number. <laughs> I, yeah, I might spend that this weekend. Yeah, you yeah. might you might do that. This is the uh, coolant, right? Oh, yeah, back for, here. for the supercharger. Do you have a yeah. fuel cell back here or is it a gas tank? It's uh, okay. actually a custom aluminum gas tank. Looks like a factory gas tank if you want to look under there. Yeah. It's a custom built aluminum and it has the uh, all the fuel pump. Oh, look at that. Inside. Okay, so very cool. Kind of a, a stealthy. Yeah. Uh, you know, part of the build was to make, other than the hood, it's, you know, all the body panels are stock. So I yeah. wanted to kind of have a sleeper look. And then, you know, with the, a tank that has a sump, you have the big lines in the back. And, yep. you know, you're like, okay, something's going on. Uh -huh. So when I had this built uh, and I had it black powder coated, so at first glance, it's like it's a stock tank. It does, yeah. But if you start looking a little bit closer, it's like, hmm. <laughs> Something going on there. Not stock. Yeah. Not stock. And this is uh, this for the battery here? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a cutoff. Yeah. yeah so See? it's required in race. See if I knew that. You knew that was for the battery too, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been around a race car too. I'm learning. Can we start the car first? Yeah, Can you start it? Well, let's do that. Yes, I need you to get blown over by this exhaust. I don't know though. Maybe he made it a little quiet. Did you make it a little quiet for a sleeper? No, it, it, has, it, has, it has mufflers. It's oh, okay. Cool. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay. We're going to let Tiff... Tiff, give us the, the, the loud scale on this okay. one, okay? All right. So the electric fuel pump will give will give it away a little bit. Yeah, that does give it away a oh, little bit. Oh, no. That's just the fuel pump. I know, but I can tell. <laughs> okay, yeah. Can I get one of those? I know. Come what? On. I couldn't hear you. You hear what? it back here, right? You know what it does up front? What? It whistles. I'm gonna see how she works the camera. Go get the whistle in the front. With the whistle? Yeah, so okay, wait. The, the whistle on the whistle. I hear it, I hear it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear it, yeah. One out of ten, what'd you say? Uh, I'm 
what's your score? 10. All right. She's a pushover while she's easy. It's still the 8.8, eight, the solid axle, right? It's a hybrid. So the center section's an 8.8. Eight, eight. It's got nine inch tubes, nine inch bearings on the end. It's got a, a torque. Be very a careful torque here, guys. Arm. Yeah. Torque arm bar? Torque arm and a pan. Is it all maximum pretty much? It is. Okay. It is, yeah. Love the, the digital Holly dash. This is the upgrade, no longer an iPad. Right. Looks good. I forgot to ask you about the transmission. So it's a manual T56 Magnum or? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, all all uh, internals are built, carbon, blockers, pro shifted. Shifted. The, the shifter is amazing. It is just so I got to probably put the clutch in, right? Or no? Oh, wow. Dude, that is money right there. Yeah, just slide right into gear. You're not going to miss a shift there. Give you guys a look at the rest of the interior here. Yeah, all the door panels were handmade. Yeah, get a good look at this one. Corbo seats. That is quite the stereo system. Yeah, and the whole rear seat delete. And the subwoofer in the middle. The yeah, the subwoofer is great. The and then the amp and the processor mounted in, in the back. Fantastic. It's fantastic. Was it worth it at the end of the day when you won Fox Turbo Fest 2019? I love how that the That was a shock because we literally finished the car at 4 a.m., wheeled it into a trailer and headed down there. I had no expectation that it would get it get anything because there were still a uh, little things that we hadn't finished and that I wanted to do we actually had loaded the car up when they called it out and I was like there you don't go home yet <laughs> <laughs> don't go home uh, yet so that's why my yeah. car isn't in the photograph oh that's uh, why okay because you already loaded it up later, the car was hard <laughs> He's, he was surprised he went best at show, guys. Well, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was we, a real treat. Well, we love the car, Walt. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for sharing it on the channel. Yeah, yeah. And big thanks to Matt and Jen from Fox Rest. So actually, look, we got Matt right there. Back there somewhere. I don't know. Right here. Oh, yeah. And you shut off the music for this. I did. You did. Yeah. So we got to thank you for that yeah. so we could get a good video. So we're going to try our best anyway. Appreciate it. Chocolate Fox, they put on the show. Foxresto.com. Work on Mustangs, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, man. And Walt, thank you very much. And guys, that's going to do it for this one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, well, let me get you out of the sun. There we go. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload one time a week. You can count on that consistent content. And Walt, definitely check his car out, Cars and Cheese. He's got other cars as well. But if you want to see more of this Fox, check his Instagram out. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you know, GM parts end up in... Oh, okay. There, the GM parts end up in a lot of Fox bodies. Yeah, they, they really <laughs> they kind of reminded me of yeah, it was yeah. a Corvette. Yeah. I'm actually a Corvette fan. We're not going to put that in, but yeah. <laughs> one of the things, guys, is you know, you got to drink some beer out here. Walt's having it too. But uh, Walt, North Carolina and Virginia Tech, same conference. I'm a big yeah. basketball fan. Yeah. We made it in the national championship. You guys didn't, but you know what you guys did do? We beat Duke. You guys beat us, and we got so mad about it. We, we beat Duke as well to get to the national championship. It's all good. And then we lost. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> as long as we hate Duke, right? All right. <laughs>